Nicholas, tell us about your day and how you won the great science space debate. All right, so. Looking at the camera. My day was actually really good. You know, it was kind of cold outside, but I still ate lunch outside. I made two new friends, uh, Johnny and Lucas. I was the only black kid there, but that was okay. Nobody discriminated. It was actually quite peaceful there. So, and, uh, tell us about the space debate. The space debate was the question was, uh, what robot, fictional or real, was the best robot that sh that went to space or that helped humanity in general? My teammates chose Wally, who sing who single handedly revived the planet, while I chose uh, Destiny 2's Ghost that revives you because he single-handedly prevented the destruction from the rest of humanity. So do you think that there is a real-world application for a robot like Ghost? If we get that far in technology, bringing people back from the dead, isn't that? Isn't well, so there, do you, would you say he uses advanced life-saving techniques to bring these people back? Yes. So... If I could say this, he's using advanced stem cell by uh, technology, right? Yes. And with that, that means he can create organs, probably using a 3D printer, right? Right. Right. Okay. Uh, use stem the same he stuff. He does it remotely. So it, he when he revives him, uh -huh. he plants a he when he revives him, it's assumed that he puts. The, the stem inside of his body so when when they die he re he activate he activates it and they bring and they come back okay so do you think there are more real world applications for a robot that actually brings people back brings people back yes from but the, I'd say from the brink of death Yes, from the brink of death. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. I also want to make a peasant dispenser type thing. Do you want to show everybody this? Oh, yeah. I got it. I... All right. That's enough. Yeah. And this, I and you also got that. this. All right. And, that... I, and I can put candy inside of it. So what do y'all talk about in terms of... We the... talked to astronauts. Who would you talk to? Uh, I forgot his name, but he was a black astronaut. Did he? Oh, Victor Glover. Yes. Oh, you talked to Victor Glover? Yes, he was old. He's old, but he's also really nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's and very he good. said I asked the best question that in the. What'd class. you ask him? And in his entire life, what was the mistake he was most proud of? Uh huh. And he said it was it was when he. When he was in flight school, mm -hmm. he was afraid of doing the formations because oh. the wings were right on top of each other. And if one little mistake, either you and that person is dead or your whole squadron is dead. Yeah. And his friend had to come teach him and remove the fear from him that, not, that it was a fear preventing of the fear of crashing preventing him from being his best. It was a fear of, of screwing up. Failure. Fear of failure. Yes. But, you know, like with all things, pilots and and all personnel in that in that in that, that uh, genre, they all do what? Fly. Train. Train. They train. They work hard hours. They train. All right. So I'm glad you had a really good day. I'm gonna share this with your mom and probably uh, what's your teacher's name from uh, Project Exploration? Uh, Mr. Omar. Yep. And Miss Natasha. Okay. Okay. All right. Say bye. Adios. Hit the button.